Paul Hernandez, Joseph Maciel, and Willie Redman are getting ready for a special day. They're drag performers, and today is Drag Queen Story Hour, an event aimed at educating children. This is something for Redman, also known as Deja Sky, that he feels is raising awareness. Well, first and foremost, we are doing this for the community. We're not doing it out of personal gain. We're literally doing it out of the kindness of our own hearts. At the end of the day, we're sitting down and reading a book to a child. That's all it is. No more, no less. In its second year, Drag Queen Story Hour is bringing those children and their families to Bitwise Industries. With over 100 adults and children here at Drag Queen Story Hour, people are not only learning about the drag queens themselves, they're also learning about a common space. And that common space is reading. A reading event like this is extremely important for parent Tracy Cisneros and her daughter Audrey. My daughter walks around being an advocate for anyone who needs one. She is the stand-up girl. If you don't have a friend, she goes to be your friend. That's my kid. And it's because of stuff like this. And stuff like this, from the Queens to the location, is only made possible because of Samaritans like Justin Kamimoto. So we chose drag queens that really are known as the community queens, the ones that have a good reputation in the community, and the ones that really are giving back in such a unique way. All of the ones that we got here today are kid-friendly. Uh, they know how to interact and engage with families, and they know how to camp it up in a kid-friendly version way. And in this friendly story, there is something we all learn. Don't be a drag, just be a queen. Matthew Broughton, Fresno State Focus.